Yes, indeed, SaaS is dead. Why? Because I built this Jira clone or what you say, project management clone with few prompts, but just starting in a couple of coffee sips. What exactly this tool is doing, it's helping me do the project management task tracking and give me advanced analytics and how exactly this was built with just five prompts. And I want to tell you that, you know, while you are going to experience all of this journey of agentic approach, these kind of softwares are going to take the first stage in the market. And I am very, very sure that you guys want to actually experience this firsthand. So Lovable 2.0 is out. And I want to tell you that when we are going to build such kind of experiential journeys, you will be actually finding that these softwares are something which probably are the starting point of your innovation. So here we are logged in into the Task Forge, which is one of the component that we have built in. And if I take you through this journey, it's very simple. You have uh, projects, you have tasks, you have reports. You can actually go and browse your sections by checking what is the status of each project. It tells you that this is a green, these are the traffic lights. It tells that data migration is running behind. It's, it's a red kind of a thing. And then you can actually say that, okay, what kind of tasks are there? So I have to design homepage and, and how do you input all these things? So how exactly this entire thing was built and what is the connectivity that we have done with the database? Uh, all of these things you will understand in a very simple way by letting you see the prompting console, which is the main aspect of building these kind of things. So I will walk you through again uh, to the whole system and the clear framework of uh, prompting lovable. So uh, this session is more about understanding how people should prompt onto lovable so that these kind of interfaces and, and all these reports and sections can be built. So uh, yes, we have an error. We'll come to that later. But yes, we have statuses, tasks and everything. So we have project and, and all these consoles. So I'll, I'll leave that thing for now. Uh, let's just stay till the this part. A lot of errors will come. But what exactly you are seeing right now? You are a lovable dev AI assistant going to build the full featured enterprise grade project and task management for software development company. And then the app must support employee progress tracking, project monitoring, real time updates. Now, now what we're saying, build a full stack application. So it's a full stack developer. It needs to have an authentication layer. Now see how we have written the prompts. Implement secure email password using Superbase auth. Now, how exactly a common man is going to understand all of these things and go through the detailed structure of project and task management, reporting dashboard. How, how would you actually do these kind of colors and these things? So probably this is something where the secret lies in of staying connected with Gignati School Academy, where we will teach you how to actually prompt and we will actually share some of the freebies to you so that you can prompt in the right manner. How this prompt is getting generated is something that you can actually download the link in my uh, school academy where we will share uh, how the prompting works as per the lovable standard. But you need to understand that once lovable gets this thing, it starts doing some, some of the part of their own thing where it starts building the core application, authentication, dashboard, projects, simple reports and everything. So you go into these sections and your app is connected to the database. You move on to the part where you again say that, okay, I want to build the backend operation. Now, how these are all of these things. So there's a journey that's going in. So as a software developer, you say that, okay, if, if you are a pro software developer, you might feel hesitant to use these kind of platforms because you, you are already busy in your day to day life and you're doing some of the stuff, which probably is taking most of your time. But if you are a newbie, you are a business guy, you are a business analyst, you would say that, okay, this is something that's in plain English, I can always do. But wherever you are talking about these technical things, Next.js, Tailwind, I don't know what these things are. So I will actually help you understand in this small uh, five minute session that whenever you are doing prompting and whenever these kind of outcomes are coming in, you need to have a handholding agent which actually helps you do a right kind of a prompting framework. So in this session, I'm going to tell you how exactly these kind of prompting framework works so that you can build such kind of application. If not production grade, then at least you should bring it to the level of uh, MVP. So let's, let's understand the secret behind it. So here is the secret in front of you. So I'm going to introduce you to a custom GPT that I have built specifically. So I always believe that, you know, whenever we are building some kind of use cases, you know, I, 
try to bring all those knowledge best practices in a custom gpt so that when you or my team or anybody who wants to get into this thing can actually start building this thing and find it very very fruitful so what exactly i did i actually said build project and task management applications of for a software company it gave me a brief content which is very generic but it said that do you want a step by step few short plan now this is very important so when i say step by step few short style this is the prompting style you need to understand that there is zero shot few shots so the prompting engineering and the prompt engineering part is something you can learn in my school academy this is one of the thing that i can walk you through but when you actually are very very beginner so you can actually go to this particular custom gpt put your business messaging it will guide you to the step by step framework and now see this is coming up which you were seeing there on that particular uh the console when i was showing you the lovable in the starting of the video so in in this particular part you see that every par part is structured into smaller micro prompts and then you are going to get started with something where you say that okay i've got all the prompts but i don't have time although i would highly recommend go step by step go piece by piece as structured in this custom gpt but if you say that no i don't have a time i want to have a master prompt so you just have to say prepare a master prompt so this is something which it will also guide you when you're using this custom gpt but this particular piece of information gives you the complete structure and when you say there is a clear framework clear framework is something which is the way how lovable works so you have to make sure that when you are writing the clear framework which means concise logical so you have to understand that the, these aspects will help you build the entire specification for lovable and when you take this information now understand that it is telling that one part is done then i'm putting up more business requirements so i'm actually walking you through the flow of information where it is telling you that okay you need reports you need dashboard okay you need commenting feature you need all of these things so it's it's going step by step and then wherever i'm talking to this i'm giving you that lovable has implemented core structure so i'm taking the information from lovable giving it to this and then i'm saying prepare me a knowledge base because knowledge base is very important so it comes it tells the knowledge base structure but it is coming up the moment it starts giving you the specification in the written format always go back say that give knowledge base as per the lovable best practice the the way it it understands is is the prompting structure so you have to understand that lovable understands something like this which you can copy and paste so when you put all these knowledge base and everything so i've actually put up this knowledge base into the console so you'll be able to pick it, pick this up but every step is structured into a manner where in in this short video you you have understood that you know uh, there is an application that has been developed but how that has been developed you we need to understand the context of it so every aspect database creation everything that i'm walking you through i'm trying to make sure that you know you you are understanding every part post ui and super base development how it has to work how it has to understand what is the create release update delete kind of a function so all all of these aspects you have to build it up and then these prompting keeps on going until you're not getting your final product and if i walk you through the last piece of it it actually will give you more confidence because it is it's a long journey and when you're really prompting you really not concerned how it works but you're saying that okay what i am doing is that uh, blah 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 so final master prompt session caching and rls recursion fixes so it has so much of knowledge that if you hire a lovable expert you know he would he would give you this kind of a consultation by understanding your requirement now i'm giving you this entire piece at least for people who want to get into the ai based vibe coding this is something where the clear structure will help you use lovable in the best possible manner so i'm more than happy to have you know your in, your inputs your feedback how you're using lovable you can use my lovable uh, link to get some of the best uh, experiences in lovable 2.0 and for right now what we are going back is is trying to understand how we understand the whole picture in my task part in and i i just remove this thing i say okay great i need to understand what are the statuses what are the see this is a kind of a thing and if i show you all of these aspects so there is a new task new project 
and and right now it's saying some error so you can always uh, go to the error and fix fix all of these aspects but what right now is that go and try yourself so until then check out the school community at kignar